What's up guys, it's Rocket Punch Army here coming at you with another third party review. Today we have the Fans Toys FT12 Grenadier which is basically a masterpiece bombshell. As is always the case with Fans Toys you get a beautiful box, nice and glossy and very thick with very minimal uh, graphics going on, just very basic photography up back and a little uh, summary here if you want to pause it and read it. Otherwise we'll just continue on along so we'll go ahead and open this up. Now you're probably wondering why I went with this instead of Bad Cube set. Um, most of all, I like Fans Toys uh, releases uh, because they have a mix of the whole Masterpiece Transformers plus Diecast, which I love. You know, you guys know I'm a Diecast collector, so this has a little bit of both worlds, and the figure is absolutely awesome. All right, so we're going to take a look at it here. As you can see, it's the gray chest version. Uh, I was going to get the purple one. Uh, but they were sold out, so I ended up getting this because I just couldn't hold out any longer. And on top of that, this is the color as you see him in the cartoon. So I'll set him back here for a second and see what else he's got in here. Uh, he's got his little weapon here, the chrome weapon. You got the clear chest, which is replaceable. And you also get three little tiny Energon cubes. And down here, you get G1 style legs, which uh, I don't think I'll be putting these on. Um, it's not, not my thing. I want to leave it in masterpiece style here. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this guy. So here we are. Uh, it's got a nice heft to it. Right away I can tell the feet down here are die cast metal because they're nice and cold. And the chest up here also. And the figure feels solid. I mean there's nothing wobbly about this. You know, nothing really bad I can say just from the way it is. Uh, we're going to check out the articulation. We have this little little bit up here that moves up and down, little gun or whatever. We also have the head, which is on the ball joint, very limited due to the sides over here that are die cast, but you can look around just a bit. And I do love the red on the eyes there. We get to the shoulders here, we get this movement here, then we also get this upper shoulder movement. We have a bicep swivel. We also have the elbow right here. We get the hand that swivels about. It does have a waist, but it's very, very tight on my figure, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Then we go down to the hips here. It does extend really far, and he's also got the legs going forward, which are also tight here. And we got the knees, which are double jointed, but you kind of have to work the upper joint past it before you bend the second one here. Otherwise, it just bangs up in the knees there, so you got to be careful. And we got the feet section right here, which have a nice ankle tilt. We're going to attach the little gun here which carries the same design as the little laser on his head and also this right back here. Uh, you'll notice it has the masterpiece style peg which you do have to feed through the masterpiece style hands. All right, And then just peg it right into the palm. It's a little tricky but once it's in there it's pretty tight and then just bring the fingers around. All right, So there he is with that. And I'm, I'm really digging the look of this figure. Um, I can't wait to put a Decepticon faction logo there. I'll probably do that by the end of the review to show you guys what it looks like. You also get a little quality control sticker here, which is nice to know that someone's checking these out before they're shipped out. And we have the little chest that opens up right here. And of course, like I said, it does come with a replacement cover here, which is just a clear yellow. You got the standard yellow. It's a sort of like a metallic kind of yellow. We also get this uh, clear one, like I said. And to attach it, all you got to do is remove this screw right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And you always want to make sure you use the right size screwdriver so you don't strip the uh, screw there. I'm using a uh, Phillips style uh, number 1 by 25. This seems to fit very well as long as you torque it really slow so you don't just spin it and kill the head on it. And um, when you pull it out, it's a little machine screw which uh, threads right into the other side of this die cast piece. And this piece just simply comes off. Then you have to attach the clear spot here, feed it in there, and then once again just tighten the screw. And I gotta say, uh, I wasn't really expecting to enjoy that clear cover, but I almost kind of like it better than the regular one, so maybe we'll leave this for a little while. Um, so yeah, this is robot mode, we're gonna check out the back here, he's got all the little legs from his alternate mode. Um, it doesn't bother me too much, a lot of people have you know, complained about the way the back looks. I know the Bad Cube ones fold in very nicely. Uh, it's not a big deal for me since this is what I'm looking at. And I'll, I'll give up the look of the back for a nice, hefty, solid figure. And aside from all its solidness, he does have, you know, the minimal paint apps. Uh, he's not, like, overloaded with paint apps. If you look at him, it, it looks like he could use a lot more. Definitely a Decepticon faction logo. And again, I did say the red eyes have a nice metallic sheen to them. Uh, nothing on the arms here. 
uh, you, right here on the arms you do get the little yellow here which is pretty nice and then you just get the silver here which is not the same color as the chest the chest uh, this die cast part is a darker metallic color this is just standard silver the legs are pretty much all black except for this little purple area and also this little spot here and the back the only thing contrasting here is the chrome other than that uh, pretty much standard right, we're just gonna take out the little energon cubes here and check them out uh, I believe it's the bad cube ones that are kind of sticky and they stick together these don't do that they're just straight up like translucent purple uh, cubes here which uh, I don't mind them being that way they're kind of cool anyway uh, it's a nice inclusion uh, I'm not really gonna display this at all but it's a, a very cool thing that they come with this I, I love when they refer to things from the cartoon uh, which is a, a really a neat thing for us collectors and fans. And before I move along, look what I got now. I put a very old repro label. It's years old. It even looks inkjet printed, but that's what I got right now. So at least we'll get to see what it looks like with that uh, till I get some better repro labels. So we're going to go ahead and take this off one more time. I got to say that really does a lot for the look of the figure. Got some scalp comparisons here in robot mode. We're going to put here a bad cube brawny. And then how about a... Takara Blue Streak. How about a six inch first order Stormtrooper? And how about a Solo Chogoking Silver Gold Light Tan? Uh, which surprisingly enough is uh, very similar to the way this guy feels. What I mean by that is just a heft in the blockiness. In other words, awesome. And because I never got around to reviewing this guy, here is the X Transbots Apollyon. Now, since we're in robot mode, we're going to go ahead and get him into his alternate mode. To do that, we're going to grab these instructions here. I might as well show you this, by the way. Here is his uh, spec card. All right, it's got all the numbers back here. Robot and alternate mode. And a little summary here, which is very tiny. You can't pause it to read it. Um, and him here on the front. All right, so it's a nice credit card, plasticky kind of uh, card. It's not cardboard, so very collectible. And then, of course, we have the instruction booklet which I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun to read. So let me take a look at this and then we'll get started. Alright, so now we have his Beetle Alt Mode. As you can see, it looks absolutely stunning. I love the legs on here. Uh, I know it does come with the G1 style legs, but if I wanted to uh, have this look like the G1 uh, style toy, I would have just gotten the purple one, and then it would just be a waste of money uh, to give you know these beautiful articulated legs up for these that don't do anything. just think it's a pain in the butt that I got to unscrew the legs just to change them, but just so you get an idea of what that looks like. We'll look at the instruction book here. You'll see the this is the way I transformed it, and this is just to get the G1 toy look. I'm really digging it. It, it feels so nice and hefty. I mean, the, the, the robot itself feels hefty, but once everything's so compact and all the weight is right here in the center, it really it feels even heavier than it does in robot mode. Uh, it's just a sensation you get from holding it. Um, you, you know, you get these art beautifully articulated legs. Uh, they're very nice and tight, so you don't have to worry about the figure itself collapsing in on itself. Uh, it really does have enough strength to hold itself up. And how about a scale comparison here in his alternate mode? We're going to put a little side swipe here. You can see it dwarfs side swipe. You can just climb all over him and crush his windows. And another uh, thing I do like is the uh, ability to store the weapon in this alternate mode. All you got to do is split the shell open. And then there's these little tabs right here, these little black tabs that go on the holes on the side here. I want to just kind of feed it in there and hold it as you tighten this back up. And there you go. And I really like the chrome accents on this figure. Uh, definitely worthy of its masterpiece uh, designation. Well, it's not really designated masterpiece, but we all know it's a masterpiece bombshell. And uh, I love it. Uh, there's not much more I can say about this. I'm looking forward to the other two. So stay tuned for those. I'll be reviewing those once they come in. It's awesome to finally have some Masterpiece Insecticons in my collection. If you have any questions or comments, even below. If you want to pick this guy up, please uh, pick him up using the link in the description below to Big Bad Toy Store. Where you'll not only find this, but many, many other cool things, guys. Subscribe, like, share with your friends. Until next time, bye-bye.